Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be playing around with Halsey's new makeup brand about face. I have my box right here. It's super cute. I love the packaging. I did order this myself. I ordered during like the fan preview thing. Um, she had sent out an email with a password to go to the site and order early, so that's what I did. Um, I am filming this kind of late. I got this like last week, but obviously I couldn't film last week. So, so excited. I adore and love Halsey so much. When I saw she was coming out with a makeup brand, I was super stoked. Um, and I dropped like mad money on this. I was so excited. I was really excited because I love the way that Halsey does her own makeup. If you guys don't know, I've seen a lot of comments about her coming out with a makeup brand and I'm just gonna say this, Halsey actually does her own makeup and does really fun and exciting and creative looks on herself all the time. She does like her own red carpet and war show looks all the time for her shows and everything. So she actually does her own makeup. I love the way that she does um, just like fun colorful looks and just different looks than like your normal average celebrity makeup lines, you know. <laughs> Cannot wait to dive in to everything that I got. I have everything right here and I love the packaging that it comes in. Come in these little bags and it says this bag is fully compostable and will disappear without a trace with no contribution to the earth's plastic waste. I really, really like that actually. All the packaging is a little different so that's really cool. It does come in a box uh, but the box is also 100% post-consumer recycled, uh, recycled paper board so you can recycle this as well. I will say for the amount of stuff I got I think it was around like 180 and I don't think it's too bad. I did get like quite a few things so I think the pricing is pretty decent. I think everything was pretty reasonably priced. It wasn't like super overpriced or anything. The thing that I'm most excited for is it these ones. It's the matte fluid eye paint. So excited for these. Um, if you guys don't know also Halsey is an artist so she made these like eye paints kind of like normal paints. You can use them straight from like the little tube but you can also just kind of like mix the colors as well coming from like an artist perspective and I really like that. of mixing colors of eyeliners and things to make different colors so that's just super fun. First thing that I got was a matte fluid eye paint and let me open up this little bag. This is the fluid eye paint. I got the shade Smoke Signal and this is like a really pretty like deep emerald foresty green. I'll put a swatch right here. This is so pretty and I love the packaging. Um, you do get 0.15 ounces of this and honestly for like an eye product I feel like that's pretty normal. Um, it's not too small. It's like fits in the palm of my hand. I love the packaging. It's like a soft matte Ooh, it's so nice and this just feels really really nice and like not expensive but it doesn't feel like cheap you know and the applicator is just like a little doe foot I'm probably gonna use this as an eyeliner today I thought I picked up the white one but I guess I didn't um, but I want to actually just she just came out with a Valentine's Day collection yesterday and I ordered favorite products from it um, it was like a black lipstick and I ordered the black one and the deep burgundy one. I ordered two lip- oh I love the packaging. Oh it's so pretty. I love this like it's just really different. Um, I really like it. It's kind of like a frosted translucent down at the bottom of the base but the actual lid is like that same soft matte so it does look different. I like that you can tell the difference between the eye paints and the lip products. This is the painted lip color. I got the shades Nudist Judas and what is this one? So long summers, I got those two. Um, one's like a more nude, and then the other one's like a mauvey pink. I believe everything is cruelty free and vegan as well. I did pick up one of the lip liners. This is the shade Clockwork, like a nice brown lippy. I'm super excited for too. This was like the first thing that I added to my cart, and I think during the pre order, um, with every order over like a certain amount, you got a free shadow stick. So I got. I actually had this in my cart before I even noticed that they did the free one, but this is the Shadow Stick and Acidic. Oh, you guys know I love chartreuse. The Light Lock Powder. This is one of the highlighters. This has a nice highlight and I was like, oh, absolutely. So I couldn't really tell from online like what shades to pick up, so I hope I got like a good shade. This one is this Bliss. The packaging on this is so pretty. I love this. It's so cute. It's like a angled like square and it's really nice I like the packaging oh yeah this is like a lighter highlight with like a like a white gold also picked up one of the light lock highlighter fluids this is so I did not think this was gonna be that big this is in the shade shaken or stirred and the packaging this is so nice I love this and it's like a 
lavender color. Thank you for all the brands that come out with lavender packaging. It just makes my life so much nicer. Um, and this is half an ounce. I think it's a lot of packaging, to be honest. And it comes, it's like a dropper. Really nice. I love this packaging. This is like a nice gold champagne-y color. A light lock lip gloss. I got this shade. Such great heights. Honestly, did not know what color this was. I solely picked it up for the name because that's one of my favorite songs from Iron and Wine. Don't know if that is why she named it that, but I love it. Like, nude kind of gloss. So, um, yeah, that's everything I picked up. Yeah, so I got an eight products for 180 I don't think that's too, too bad. I feel like a lot of times I can just pick up like a couple products and it's like over a hundred bucks so um yeah so I'm gonna be using these today I'm super excited to start off with the eyes I'm gonna use one of the eye paints I went ahead and just primed my eyes and I also just set the primer eyeshadow just because I'm not gonna do any other eyeshadow and I was like okay let me just put some eyeshadow there um so I'm gonna be using the matte eye paint and this is in the shade smoke signal I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use this as a liner so pigmented holy crap Okay, so I think I'm going to do like a graphic liner maybe. Who knows? We'll see. So I'm just going to take that. And like I said, if you got multiple of these, you can definitely use them, like mix them together. She did a tutorial and I loved that look that she came up with. She basically just like painted on her eyes. It was so nice. So I'm going to just start off with a wing. Like so. And I'm just going to look straight. such a pretty green it's like a forest green um and it's going on really nice it doesn't dry right away so you do kind of have like a little bit of time to work with it I think once I have that I'm going to go in to my crease from this outer corner and when I'm doing something like this I look straight to go above my natural crease because I do have kind of like a slight hood so I'm just going from like this outer corner and I will clean this up. Like that. I'm just kind of doing a sketch of that real quick because I'm kind of just doing it just to show you guys. I'm going to get like real close in my mirror afterwards. But basically I just look straight so I go above my natural crease so the liner will show. I'm just going to go to about like right there. Okay, I went ahead and just finished that up. Um, these are not even at all, but that's okay because who cares. Just kind of also rounded the inside of the um liner like right here as well kind of like rounded this area out right here just because i felt like it didn't look right the other way if you get questions about this, this is a lancome um smudger and liner brush it's one of my favorites so yeah just so i just did that like i said they're not even i don't care my eyes are already uneven as it is so like doing graphic liner never looks even so good enough um i'm gonna go ahead and just i wanted to just show you guys that i finished that up i was gonna put this on the inside I don't know. I don't want to like mess it up. I might just put this on the inner corner. This is the um, shadow stick in acidic. Let's see. Oh, it's so pretty. I love these like chartreuse colors. So far, yeah, the little eye paint was so easy to work with. It does dry down, but it has a lot of work time with it. And I didn't have any issues with it like tugging or drying up on me. And now that it's like set, I feel like it is like set set. So I don't really know what this like graphic liner is, but you know, we're going to work with it. Not exactly what I had in mind, but you know, it's fun. Whatever. Do my foundation real quick and then we'll come back and use the highlighters and stuff. So BRB. As I was doing my foundation, I was like, you know what, let me just put this on. So I did end up putting this in my on my lid and it does look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that. I figured since it's sharp now and not like a dull edge, I could probably do it easier. So I'm just taking that inside. Just filled that in and it's really nice. I like this color a lot. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more metallic, but I like it. It's, it's cute. Kind of like that. 
I'm gonna have to fix the liner real quick because I kind of messed that up, but... Okay, so I just put on some bronzer and blush real quick. So we're gonna take the liquid highlighter. This is the... What is this called? The Light Lock Highlight Fluid. I'm just taking the little dropper. And I'm just gonna take this on the back of my hand. Oh my god, that's hella intense. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put that on the tops of my cheekbone. Oh, this is a nice shade. This like blends into my skin so nicely. That is really, really pretty. Definitely really glowy. So you do not need a lot of this. I'm literally taking like the smallest amount. It'll probably last a lifetime. <laughs> okay, so that's what it looks like on its own. And I think it looks super pretty. And I think you can definitely build it up if you want it like super intense. I don't really want something super, super intense. It's not like accentuating any pores or anything and it's not glittery it just has a really nice glow i like it i'm gonna take the powder highlighter on top we're gonna go real glowy today this one is this bliss so just on top of that the formula is really nice it feels super super soft oh wow <laughs> i feel like so i haven't been this highlighted in so long Stunning. Yeah, the formula is extremely soft. It is so nice and creamy. <gasps> oh my god. That's a beautiful formula. I love that. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup. I don't know if I'm going to do anything to the lower lash line. If I do, I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, I'm going to go finish that and then we'll use the lip products. I'm so excited for these. So I'll be right back. Went ahead and just put on some lashes. I didn't do anything on my lower lash line. I just wanted to keep it like nice and bold on the top move on to the lips and i got three lip products i got the lip liner and two of the lip paints this um so long summer is a little too dark for this look so i'm gonna do nudist judas this light lip liner is really nice i like swatched it and it feels nice and smooth so we're just gonna try it oh i love this color though and i'm gonna go ahead and just take the nudist judas color oops I love the applicator on this. It's like a little angled doe foot. And this is such a pretty shade of brown. I love this. It's like a yellow toned brown. And we don't get too many yellow toned browns very often. So I love this. This is such a pretty color. Don't know how well it goes with this look, but this is the finished look. I love how this look turned out. Um, it's so fun and I love just colorful makeup in general. So um, let me give you guys my overall thoughts. Oh, I forgot to do the gloss. Let me apply the gloss. I'll put the gloss on. Actually, I'm just going to do a swatch. Let me see. Yeah, so this gloss is a little bit more metallic for my liking right now. But I think this will look so pretty with just the lip liner on its own. But there's a little swatch of it. I really like that gloss. It's not too metallic. It's like a nice shimmery gloss that'll look super, super nice with just like a lip liner or something. So I'm so obsessed with the brand. Like I just feel like the brand is so fun. I love how all of the products are just super easy to use. And like they just make you want to like play around with them. And I definitely think my favorite thing that I tried was the eye paints. I think they're super easy to work with. Um... I did see her do some tutorials with them and you can definitely like put them all over and blend them out. Um, I can show you guys how that looks. I'll put like a little dollop <laughs> on the back of my hand. Okay, this brush might be dirty but I'm just going to show you guys how it blends out. So you can definitely blend them out. Um, there are some more like neutral colors. Fun like this. They do blend out um, pretty easily. So there's like this really pretty brown, I think. Um, that's one of the eye paints. And I kind of want to pick that one up because I feel like that'll just be something to like throw on over the eye, all over the eye and just kind of blend it out and call it a day. Um, but I definitely want to pick up some more of the eye paints. I really, really like them. And I think they're super easy to use. They're super, super pigmented and they're definitely like something I want to get more of to play around with. Second favorite thing I think is definitely the lip products. I love this color. It's not like a brown lipstick that you see very often. It's like not too dark, not too nude, and it's not too brown. It's like this perfect yellowy based brown and I love it. It's so pretty and I love the formula. It's super super comfortable. You guys know I've been struggling with my lips lately <laughs> and my lips have been super dry and cracked and 
it just feels so nice on the lips. This formula I feel like might be a really big favorite with people. I just feel like it's really nice on the lips. It's not drying at all, but it is a liquid lip and it is like, uh, it's like semi-transfer proof. It's not exactly transfer proof. Fine, it's not like a big deal. Um, and it's super, super comfortable on the lips. It doesn't even feel like I have anything on. It's super lightweight. Love the packaging of this. I just think everything is just so nice and I think the packaging is definitely a favorite of mine as well. I love the highlighter. The highlighter is super nice. Liquid highlight is insane. It's so nice. Um, I don't know how often I'll use this, but if I ever need like a nice glow um, or something super, super intense, this is definitely it. Like doesn't accentuate like texture. It doesn't accentuate the pores or anything. It's not glittery. It's just like really, really nice. So I love the formula of that as well. The shadow stick is okay. It's not my favorite. It was super easy to use and it looks really nice, but I'm gonna be a little bit more metallic. Maybe it's just this color, I don't know, but it doesn't look as metallic as I thought it was gonna look. Um, but it's still really nice and intense. Like, I mean, obviously this is just it on its own. It looks nice, um, but it's just like not my favorite product. I don't know if I'll pick up any more of those, um, but I do like this one. It's okay. It's just not my favorite product. Gloss, I didn't wear it, but it looked really nice when I swatched it. And I love these types of lip liners, those creamy lip liners. I love those. So overall, I'm so happy with everything. I think <laughs> I just love how the look turned out and everything. I'm so excited to see what else they come out with. Um, I just know everything will be like fun and colorful. If we're interested in picking anything up, I definitely recommend recommend the eye paints and the lip paints um, and the highlighter. I like the highlighter a lot. See, I'm not being biased. I would always be honest, but I'm just so excited that somebody I love came out with really good products. <laughs> um, I love Halsey and special shout out to Manic for getting me through last year for real. Uh, when my mom died, that was definitely an album that got me through it. So I'm so happy that she's her a pregnancy right now. I cried. I literally cried. I'm, I could not be happier for someone to be pregnant than Halsey. So that is my thoughts on About Face. Hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I got so many DMs when they announced the brand that if I was gonna pick anything up and I was like, y'all, I already ordered it. I've been ordered. When Trend Mood announced it, like I was already like waiting for my order. <laughs> if you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.